All right, folks, wrestling fans especially, who is this? It's Mike Messier and the Bushwhackers. That picture, okay, quite some time ago. And, uh, you know, man, wrestling will, will break your heart sometimes, but it, it looks like just a fun, happy picture. But there's a little bit more to it. One last time, we'll look at that. Um, it's me, Bushwhackers, and unfortunately, a friend of mine, uh, actually, I won't go into too many details, a friend of mine uh, had passed away, and that was the day of, the funeral was that day, and, uh, you know, still went to the wrestling show that night, to be honest with you. Uh, so, it's one of those things where the Bushwhackers were great guys. I actually went to that show, an independent show in Virginia, and, uh... Had a great time considering, uh, but it was just totally emotional. And the Bushwhackers couldn't have been nicer, especially uh, this book, Bushwhacker Butch. I actually got backstage because I was pitching myself to be a manager, and I kind of wore the white button-down shirt to pitch myself as a manager of some ilk. And uh, they were real nice about it. I think it was Cubar Cubal Carmichael at the Secret Cove in Virginia. So. I believe that's who it was, but um, I just want to tell a little wrestling story. I can't remember the, the show or who wrestled. I mean, obviously the Bushwhackers did, uh, and it was a fun time, but it's just kind of interesting how wrestling moments, you remember where you were, you remember how you felt, and I think on, on that night, you know, going through that process of, of uh, you know, going to a funeral for someone who obviously passed away entirely too young because it wasn't an older person, it was a younger person uh, you know, you do have those memories and um, obviously it was a thing where uh, you know, it just sucked uh, but uh, the, the fact that the person died so, anyway folks, that's it uh, Mike Messier with your wrestling memory so if anyone knows the Bushwhackers you can say Mike Messier said hi